Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This is the final episode of World 3. We're gonna start it off with the K level precarious pendulums. Hopefully, this viewing experience has been precarious for you. And if it hasn't, liking the video is cool. Tossing me your thoughts, pretty awesome. Giving yourself the option to follow content on the reg. The subscription. The most awesome is. Okay. So this level in the realm of K levels isn't too bad. I think that there are more difficult ones for sure. The theme of this one is kind of, uh, I think, like electricity. Strangely. So you just gotta kind of be on your toes a little bit. It's kind of shocking, I know, but realistically speaking, not too bad. Some of the puzzle pieces are a little tricky, but there's only five. So thankfully, shouldn't put you in too much of a too much of a bind. There's gonna be a lot of moments where ABD is definitely gonna be the wanna be the forefront of your your noggin. Always keep that in mind. It's most important. Speaking of puzzle pieces, there's the first one. That was pretty easy, right? This episode is gonna be pretty cash, pretty chill. This is probably one of the trickiest puzzle pieces to get just because it's a little cryptic how you even get it. But I'm gonna show you because I care about you. And that's what good friends are for. So the thought process here is that you're always just gonna wanna follow which way the barrels go. There's a string of bananas to your left. Grab those, get yourself that puzzle piece. You're in good shape if you do. Oops, that's not good. But what would a D-Mike Plays video be without a death? It sounded kind of morbid. But the reality is I am an imperfect man. Unfortunately, through this point of my life, I'm trying. It's a shame, really, because my goal throughout all of my childhood was just to be perfect. And, uh, well, I messed that one up. My bad. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Just kidding. That's not a very casual way to live your life. Life should be all about making mistakes, and learning, and oof. I wasn't really entirely sure what I was doing. I kind of was just going on this random tangent, and I wasn't thinking about the things my hands were doing in playing this game. So that was kind of a strange moment where like my brain went on autopilot. Anybody ever do that? I do that sometimes when I drive. It's probably a really not good thing to admit. Yeah, so my brain just kind of turns off when I'm Behind the wheel of a motor vehicle? <laughs> That's funny! It's funny when you say it in a funny way! This is how we downplay disaster. Okay, so this entire area has these shocky panels. Oops. I'm doing really well right here. I need that heart. Yeah, this is not, uh, not great. Love those. Okay. Oof, I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to lose Dixie. Little. Okay. That was a tactical death. Totally worth it. I think that it saves it too. The only downside of these K levels is you do have to go back to the beginning when you do these levels. It's kind of a bit of a butt. I'm not a huge fan of that. Oops. And sometimes you get into the muscle memory of doing things a certain way. And when you break that muscle memory, Oof, all heck breaks this, so. I don't remember what I was saying, but that's okay. We're gonna start fresh with our thought process, just like we started fresh with this level. Okay, that was dumb. You know what's not dumb? Super Mario Galaxy 2. Hopefully you're all enjoying that. I know we're only a couple episodes in, but oh, get out of here. We're only a couple episodes in at this point, but. I made the executive decision to move on temporarily, Pokemon, and that decision was, oops, was smarter than shooting myself into a giant beam of electricity. No. That decision was based on the content left in the game. I'd already beaten the Elite Four. I probably should have just wrapped at that, but I know that there's 
some bonus content, and I didn't want to leave it out. I mean, realistically speaking, I could go without it. I don't actually think that the way I showcased it was very becoming of any sort of demo or exhibition. So I kind of felt bad a little bit, and I didn't want to leave the channel on a kind of a swamped note. I was getting a little, little burnt out on Pokemon. The unfortunate reality of that game is that it's kind of long, and I'm not the type of person who, when I make content, I don't love to do a ton of editing, which is funny because it's what I do for a living. But yeah, I guess that's kind of why I don't like to do a ton of editing. It's just because I use this as an opportunity to just kind of have content that's a little more cash, more relaxing for me. I can just play through. You know, it's not it's not the same level of plug and play like it used to be. Like on my old channel, I look back and I literally would start an episode of whatever I was doing. I wouldn't edit any of it. There's a puzzle piece out in the open. Okay. And then I would just upload it directly to YouTube. So that was a choice that I made back then. And I don't think that the content was necessarily bad, but it also wasn't really good either. But that's back when there was less market saturation. I'm talking about this like it's some sort of like financial discussion with like a, an investor or something. The market saturation. Oops, I'm dead. Oh, I should have at least grabbed it. Should have grabbed it. No. There were, I should say, content saturation in the market of YouTubes. You know, you could get away with kind of making garbage, which I did. I think it was garbage, at least compared to what I have now, obviously. The production value is something I am proud of. So hopefully you, you all appreciate that if you've followed me from my old channel to the new one. That's definitely something that is important to me. No longer are we going into poor aspect ratios and incorrect resolutions for ADP videos. Everything is in full HD. Yeah, you heard me. 1080p is the future, everybody. You might be able to even see things in HD on your television set coming this fall. But I used to just poop stuff out right out of the can. Literally, that's what it would be. Well, I shouldn't say literally, because as I actually, one of my biggest pet peeves are people who overuse the word literally when they mean figuratively. But I learned at this point that like they're kind of synonymous because that's what happens to words sometimes when we just abuse the English language. Ooh, this is gonna be a lot harder to do without my friend, Dixie. Actually, I have to try. Oh, what? You get hurt if you duck? Yeah, that's dumb. You need to have a little more self-preservation. This is not supposed to take this many tries. I was literally right at the end. And that's a correct way to use it. Figuratively is normally what people mean, but they say literally. That is not what they mean. And I'm not trying to be a... a linguist weenie or anything like that. But for me, I think words are important. Although, I do struggle with minding what I say sometimes. So maybe my level of criticalness is contradictory. Who knows? But anyway, I used to just pop out content immediately after I recorded it. Didn't schedule it. No branding. Nothing of those sorts. I didn't really understand the value of reaching out to your audience and, you know, making them feel included and all those things. So hopefully you feel included as an audience member here. I'm trying. Oh boy. I did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. Yikes. Okay, well, this might be another reset, another tactical reset, of course. Yeah, this is, this is a bit of a, a bit of a butt, for sure. Oops. Okay. Yeah, ABD, for sure. A lot of for sure's here. Ooh. Okay. So I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. I was going to say that and then absolutely goof it. Actually, I do know that there is a part coming up. Or not having Daisy probably will absolutely bite me in the buns. I can feel that. Oops. These are not on purpose, I promise. 
But hey, these episodes are short. And the last thing we gotta do in this one is take on a boss. Of course, there will be the post-world goodies. So fear not. I don't know if it's gonna do the, the weird thing it did last time where it showed that I hadn't gotten the things. Like, it showed that they were new with the dioramas and the music and the art and stuff. I don't know why it did that. Because so I'm using the same save file. I could not tell you. I'm not a, a game designer. I do not understand the ins and outs of technologies as such. I'm just happy to play it for all of you. You know, it makes me happy that I can come on my channel every so often and play with myself and you guys get to enjoy watching that. It, it makes me happy because this content is important to me and oops, that was actually going really well until that part of that go wasn't going really well. Okay, my bad. Still having thoughts. This is a bit of a random aside as you know, they kind of all are. It's just whatever pops into my brain at the moment. If there was like a flowchart of things D-Mike says, it would be a million pages long and you would never be able to piece together why one thing leads to another. And if I tried to explain it to you, you might wind up in the same position as me. So, we'll just keep it under wraps. We'll make this my burden to bear for my noggin only oops i don't know why i did that or that this is starting to get into autopilot territory where i'm making i'm getting muscle memory for mistakes and that's not good it's okay let's let's lock in let's let's make this our last attempt okay good. okay maybe not Maybe not. Having only one additional hit is not bad. It's my hubris. My words. That have befallen me this time. Oops. But anyway, what I was trying to say before I started to continue to speak out of my behind as per usual. I'm still thinking about the stream and I've, I've been paying attention to other people that do it. And I've still got friends who are doing that on the reg. I don't know if people do that for a living or not, or if it's just for fun. I know you people make money off of it, especially if you find a way to play games in a hot tub. Apparently that's a real, that's a real good one. Or something I saw recently, and this might be, this might be controversial and or hot take territory, but you know what? I'm going to say it. One of the things that I saw, and I thought that Twitch which is the platform, when I think of streaming, that's what I think of. It's probably not the one, but in the same way that when you think of like video content, you know, YouTube is kind of the one. It's not the only place in the world that you can watch videos, but you know, it's it's the kind of biggest platform. It's the one with the most market share. And being the biggest player in the game, player, that's kind of where people flock to. Oh, we're dead. Okay, so I said one more, but I actually meant one more. It's always cash whenever I spend 15 minutes on one level. <sighs> but in fairness, this is the most difficult level in this world, which I don't really know if I'd say that's true. I don't think any of the levels in this world are that difficult. Some of the ones in World 2 are kind of tough, but this one, not too bad. And I feel like I would even say that the K level from World 1 I don't remember what it's called, but I would even say that that one is more difficult than this one. This one has like tricky moments to it, but it doesn't quite have the level of complexity and jumping that you need to do. You're not being hounded by various set designs that are chasing you across the world, so it's not too bad. This one, I mean. But yeah, what I was going to say, back to my hot take, I like to kind of like tease things a little bit, not on purpose, usually when I speak. I lose track of what I was going to say halfway through, and then it's just kind of gone forever. So, anyway, what I was trying to say for all of you, hot take, teasing it so that way you'll get excited. I thought initially that Twitch was a place that people would play games. 
Doesn't have to exclusively be video games. Maybe board games would be cool. Or just a place to display art. Now, art is subjective. And I understand that. And I'm not trying to squash anybody's definition of what is and isn't art. I think that's not really fair to do that. All right, here we go. Let's uh, do this right. All right, this is kind of tricky here. Wait for it to go. No. Oh. oh, it launched me into the bottom. That's not cool. I timed it really poorly. But here's the hot take, everybody. Place for art, at least. And art is subjective. I know that Twitch now is almost becoming a place where people will just, like, sit and watch some sort of personality, some sort of person of influence, an influencer, perhaps, talk, which is fine. I mean, obviously, you value what they say for whatever reason. Probably, maybe too highly, the investment of words that people place in these people. I don't know how they feel about that. I mean, you gotta be a certain kind of person, I think, to really make a lot of that. I feel it would be really tough to, you know, have an entire massive following if you weren't a certain kind of person. Like, an extrovert, like me, where being alone is how I recharge. Having all those people, like, depend on you for content all the time, I think would be, like, really tough. But hey. Oh boy, I really like that heart. Show me your heart. Okay. So I thought historically it was a place for media, for art, those kinds of things. People just talk now, which is fine. I think it's really funny whenever people will uh, put something on their channel, like, they'll watch an episode of a, of a cartoon, like the debut of a show and they'll put it on their channel and they'll just talk to their followers and they get banned for that or suspended and then they wonder why that always makes me laugh we've gone to a point where we have people that believe that because they talk to strangers on the internet in large quantities that somehow it makes them oops oops that it makes them immune from rules and repercussions or that they can bend the rules which a lot of them do so here's a hot take and this might be a reference to somebody you follow or enjoy, so I'm going to be kind of careful when I say this. But... And I'm not really much for being a traditionalist. I think traditions are good, and I understand the value of them and why they exist, but, you know, change is good too. I think that being willing to adapt and... adapt with the time is important. That's how you survive. That's how anyone survives. That's how we evolve. That's how we grow. One of the things that I always find strange is how people will adapt and change to give people what they want. That's one thing that they do. So I don't know if it's something that they personally are invested in or if it's just a matter of creating a market for something and then just doing it because it's profitable. So there's probably an incentive for money. I get that. But one of the things that I thought was strange, like I mentioned before... Ooh, that was clean. Clean. Mr. Clean. Okay. One of the things that I think is strange... And I know strange has kind of some negative connotations, so don't take this too seriously. Or do it. Whatever. I can't tell you what to do. But I've seen some content on Twitch that makes me uncomfortable. And I know the reason for it is because people watch it. You know, at the end of the day. That's how that works. If people watch your stuff and it's profitable, you're probably going to continue to make that stuff. That's fine. Sort of. I just know that some of the stuff in general is odd. And I don't want to, like, shame people for enjoying things. Like, obviously. Can I get up there? Oh, let me. Oh, I got the puzzle piece. Anyway, so we can just move on at the end. It's the last one. 20 minutes for one, for one level. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long one. But anyway, oh, I grabbed Diddy on accident, that's okay. Yeah, some of the content that I've seen on there, it's, it makes me like ask why. Like I know that there's a certain, there's something for everybody. And I love that about the world is that, you know, there's no, there's no bridge too far, although there should be sometimes, of the things that people see and do, you know, if there's somebody willing to pay you money for it, apparently that's a good enough reason to continue to do something. 
Whether it's savory or not, I don't know. But like I said, once again, I'm not trying to, to poo-poo on anybody and what they enjoy. Um, but you know... Oh, I got to land in the, in the barrel. I didn't hear the banana, so I was like, did I kill myself? Yeah, I, I did it again, where I missed like half of them. But yeah, I was on Twitch the other day, and uh, I was actually tuning in to stream for my boy Odin Spack. I don't remember what he was playing. Mario Galaxy. That might have been a reason why I did it. I don't know. Kind of motivated me. It's been a while since I played that game, and I played the first one on the channel, so I was like, you know what? He looks like he's having fun. Let's jump back into this. And I remember before I could get into my account, I had, I have duo factor authentication. So try to break into my stuff, please don't. But yeah, um, the first thing that popped up, they have like a front page of like, what's hot? What is hot, hot, hot? Which means that a lot of people are watching it. I'm pretty sure that's the only kind of structure for what that implies is just what people are watching. Oh, there's more. Please let the end of this be easy. This looks tricky. Oh, please. Time to barrels. Is this just the... Please just let this be done. I've already suffered enough. It is not. Oh, boy. Oh. Let the pull this. Whoa! Okay, that was fun. It's all the puzzle pieces, I think. And this for no reason? Yay, high five! Yeah! 20 ish minutes of the same hacking level. I got all the puzzle pieces first try though. Yeah, nice. So, the hot, hot, hot stuff, which makes this hot take even better, was supposed to be, it, it listed the topic as ASMR, which I don't know what that stands for exactly. I believe it's like auditory something. Anyway, here's boss three, triple trouble. Let's go ahead and start this. Diddy is actually not the partner I wanted. I would have preferred to have Cranky surprisingly, but that's okay. Anyway, hopefully we can do this boss in one try. Oh, we can do it with Cranky, okay. That's not bad. I don't want to do it with Cranky. Not with Gramps. But first, cutscene. Oh. oh! It's like my cat when she's getting ready to dinner. <gasps> How dare you? These guys just babooning around. This is no time to be monkeying around. So I don't know the names of these guys, but uh, they will swing down on these ropes, and you can't you can't hit them when they're on the ropes and they're swinging down with their hammers. That's not something you can dodge. You just gotta kind of get out of the way. But when they're just swinging down like a bunch of baboons, then you can. So no hammers. Use the chance when they're not using their hammers to hit them. And these times they're gonna charge up like Sanic. Just be careful to get out of the way. Boing, boing, bounce in their butts, put your big old stick in their butt. Oops, I missed. But they'll come at you again. And this is fun, right? Yeah, Cranky's, Cranky's a good choice for this one. Also because you'll see in the next phase why that's of value. Oop, not mean to do that. I like the random cheering. Yeah, so I was trying to say is the hot take ASMR. They were having that on the front page. It's what was being promoted. I don't know if it's like the algorithm that promotes it. You're down to two now. Or if it was just, these. The, this is one of the most watched channels. So you should watch it too and you'll love it. So it was ASMR, according to the channel. Uh, but it was the strangest thing. And, man, I need to be careful how I'm doing this. I don't mean strange in, like, a derogatory sense. Like, I mean, people might take that wrong way, but... This is where you're gonna want Cranky. These guys have horned helmets. 
and you can't hit them unless you have Cranky in that phase. So this does kind of speed it up a little bit. And they do get lighter over time when they're running low on health. Okay. And if they crawl on the back side of the post, you can't hit them. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, there's a harder one. No! Okay, so no Cranky. That's great. We're down to one. One on one. But technically it's not. This is kind of weird. A little morbid. He summons the... Uh, the ghosts of his former brethren. His fallen baboon brothers. If I could grab... Come on. It didn't let me grab it. It didn't let me grab it. So Asmer, ASMR, and it was some woman who, I'm assuming given the nature of her outfit, it was probably intentional. She was very scantily clad, and I don't know like what the level of discretion is for that type of content. If anybody can watch it, hopefully youngins weren't being privy to that. It's not great. Hopefully you'll monitor what your kids are watching. So she was doing that, and then the strangest thing was what she was doing as she was scantily clad. It was a very promiscuous outfit, which, you know, it's whatever. There's, you know, if you're an adult and you're into that, do it. But this is really annoying. I would like to hit the one that's alive. Do things that let me hit you. Come on, bud. There we go. And she had this microphone, and this microphone was on either side of it. I've never seen this before. Was, okay, so you can't touch those. So that microphone, oh boy, it's getting, this is rough. I need a good shot here. I did it. Oop, I was ready with X and Y. You could hear me jamming the buttons and it didn't work. Great, thanks game. It had uh, ears. I'm assuming like rubber or kind of look like prosthetic ears almost on either side of the microphone. And she was very aggressively licking it. Like she was really getting in there. And once again, like I'm saying, there's somebody that that's for. And there must have been a lot of people watching it because it was promoted as like the first thing on the channel. I don't know if it was the ears part, the asthma. Oops, go back to Bright Savannah real quick so we can buy some toys and check out some art real art so yeah she was licking the mirrors getting real deep in there it was very loud and i'm assuming it was supposed to be that if you're into that sound maybe that that would do it for you but it just looked awkward and felt very forced and i don't know i don't have any right to say what you should and shouldn't Ooh, we got hot hoots hot hoots well, you should and shouldn't put on there, but I don't know. It just felt a little like, why? Who is this for? I don't know who these people are for, but there was enough people watching it to promote it to the front page. I'd like to believe that it pro- Did I- I think I got something else. I didn't acknowledge it. I'd like to believe that it probably wasn't the her licking rubber ears thing that people were watching for, but I'm not everybody. It just made me feel like, you know, there's something for everybody and I get that, but also it just made me feel kind of uncomfortable, like, you know, I'm not trying to be a stingy Steven over here or anything. Apologies if your name is Steven and you're not stingy, but, you know, it's just weird. Okay, so starting off with figurines. Yeah, it looks like it. it's trying to say, like, I haven't gotten some of them. Like, it shows stars every time I do this. I don't know why. I also don't know which ones I have or haven't gotten yet. But these ones are new. This is Hoots. Got him this time around, I remember that. Cool. Hot Hoots. Those fiery owls. And I think this is the last one I got. Blue Hoots. That's great. So yeah, going for it, you know, she was doing her thing. And like, part of me is like, whatever, like, it's fine. If you're into that, then obviously you would watch that. But man. It was just weird and it just like, it didn't really feel like anything of value was being created in that moment. 
I mean, it probably made somebody happy, which I guess sort of does, and I'm not trying to objectify that. But I feel like she was objectifying herself with what she was wearing and sucking on some ears. So if you're into that, good for you. I personally would not watch that. There's a lot of really brilliant artists and creators out there that deserve our time and attention, and hopefully they get the support that they need because they deserve it. Oh, there was going to be a chicken type of mechanic at one point. That would have been fun. It's neat. That's why I like looking at these things is that occasionally you'll see game dynamics and things that didn't make it into the final cut. That would have been fun. All right, so Bright Savannah enemies. We got the porcupine, the water buffalo, that stupid bird. I don't remember the weasel thing or the hippo. Huh. They were obviously in the game. I just don't remember them. And there's music that you can check out if you want. I might include just a listing to that later. But here's the funky diorama. He's riding Rambi. He's that big old bird spying on him from the government. He's trying to go toe to toe with a Waldo. I love that name. There's the, there's a tux in the background with the porcupine just hanging out. There's another one here hiding. I love that, that's great. Good stuff, okay, so that's all for now. So next time, we will take on the beginning of World 4 Sea Breeze Cove. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you later. Bye.